The 2017 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine is awarded to Jeffrey C. Hall, Michael Rosebash, and Michael W. Young for their discoveries of molecular mechanism that control circadian rhythms. Now, why this discovery is so much important to us? Actually, this is not only a discovery, this is also a mystery. So, the story starts in 1729. The French astronomer De Marien placed a mimosa plant in the dark room and observed that leaves of plant still opened and closed rhythmically perfectly according to the day and light, suggesting an endogenous origin of daily rhythm. The existence of endogenous circadian clock will finally become established into 20th century. Actually, the question was whether circadian behavior were governed by endogenous clock or were mere a reaction of external stimuli of circadian nature. It will be hotly debated for decades. And then, in 1971, Benzer and Konopka identified mutant of proof fly. They examined the activity of 2,000 of their descendants, but only three mutant flies had very different circadian rhythms. One had 19-hour cycle, one had 28-hour cycle, and one seemed to have no cycle at all. Experiments suggested that mutation involved the same gene, named period. However, its structure and sequence did not immediately suggest a molecular mechanism for the circadian clock. Now, these three scientists were in this research from 1990. With the series of experiments, the team identified there are also other genes partner with period gene. The production of period and timeless protein generating an autonomous oscillation in the cell. Now, how it affects our body? The rhythm of our body is working according to the rotation of the earth around the sun. Circadian is a Latin word. Circa means around, circuits, and the Ds means day. Circadian oscillators are present within every cell of our body. They are also existing in unicellular bacteria and protozoans, plants and insects. It controls various processes such as sleep pattern or mood, body temperature, hormone release, blood pressure and metabolism. So, in our daily life, we experience dramatically changes during day and night. The ticking of this clock helps us to stay one step ahead of our environment and to prepare our body. So in the 24 hours, how it works, from the 24 to 2 is the best time for deep sleep. From 2 to 6, we experience lowest body temperature. At 6, cortisol hormone releases in our body, generates glucose, which provides energy to our body to get up from the bed. 6 to 9 is the period of fastest increase in blood pressure. From 9 to 12, we are highly alert and active in the whole day. 12 to 15 is the best time for coordination. Coordinate to our people, to our employees, analyze our work, projects, decisions, etc. At 15, we experience fastest reaction time. At 18, we experience highest body temperature. 18 to 21 is a region of highest blood pressure and from 21 to 24 melatonin hormone releases which prepares us to sleep. Our biological clock work according to the outer environment. Our body always gives us signal to what to do and when to do. Thank you so much.